let's be honest, folks. If you saw one of these Tesla Optimus bots walking up to you looking like I, a uh, robot or, you know, some AI about to take over the world, like, how would you react? Okay, so it looks kind of cool right now in this version, but when they give it a face, how do you think people are going to react? You understand what I'm saying? It reminds me just like, you know, Sonny uh, in iRobot movie. You know what I'm saying? Right now they look all, you know, stiff and everything like that. But <laughs> over the next 10 years, man, you ain't even going to be able to tell. Look, it's doing the robot. <laughs> the robot is doing the robot. What is Elon Musk trying to do? Like I saw... Uh, the video where it says um, and now you can have these robots babysit for you or you know run errands or do the laundry and stuff like that this is some real you know uh, futuristic stuff right here they already got flying cars I don't know how they're gonna make traffic lanes up in the air or something like that but <laughs> they have the flying cars and I remember when I was a kid we used to talk about the flying cars all the time um, you know, now that's actually a thing. So all of these robot things are coming like to fruition as well. Like what the hell are we going to do when they become self-aware? If it, if it came this far, guys, don't you think it's going to get to the point where they become self-aware as well? I mean, look at how powerful and intelligent chat GBT is. If they let that out to the public, I believe they have something far more powerful than chat GBT. And Elon Musk is showing us something like that now. Um, there's a term called mad scientist, okay? <laughs> and <clears throat> I know that we throw that word around lightly, the term around lightly, but it happens when a scientist becomes obsessed with their creations. They become obsessed with the questions, what if? What if I did this? What would happen? If I added this to the project, what would it do? Would it be revolutionary? Would I be able to take over? They become obsessed and in love with their creations and start believing that they're God until it turns around and bites them. Now, unfortunately, the richest people in the world control the distribution as well. And when they get bored with their money, what they like to do is these little science projects and these experiments to try to catapult us into the future, so to speak. And um, they've never been in the future before. <laughs> None of us have been in the future before. So it's uncharted territory that we're exploring right now. And it could take on a life of its own. And what the hell do you do then? Like literally guys, like what do you do then? All right, so this this robot right here, <clears throat> it looked like some Steven Spielberg animatronics right now. You understand what I'm saying? But if you haven't been to, well, I haven't been there either. But if you've been, if you've seen Disney World uh, in the last few years and and the animatronics they have for the uh, Jurassic World section of the park or whatever, the Jurassic Park section, those dinosaurs are not looking as stiff as they did a few years back okay they're starting to look <clears throat> very lively and a lot of the children are afraid because it actually looked like it can reach out and freaking bite you and if they keep going at this pace with this technology guys <clears throat> one day this stuff will be able to reach out and bite you now <laughs> I'm not saying it will grow like an appetite or anything but if they become self-aware what do you think Okay, what does intelligence do to the human being? All right, let's analyze. Most of the intelligent people go dark side. Most of the intelligent people produce the horrible vaccines that poison us and all of that. Why? Because intelligence, uh, the awareness that you are smarter than the average bear, it gives you pride. And you want to experiment and see how manipulative you can be with the rest of the population and see can they figure you out it's just like a serial killer who leaves uh crumbs to <laughs> to see if the detectives will find them they get pissed off when they get you know like caught and have to spend the rest of their life in jail or you know get the death penalty but up until then they're having fun making everybody else around them look stupid and that's exactly what these billionaires are doing with this ai right now guys now 
All right, it looks impressive, man, because we've never seen anything like this. And the outer shell of it, the aesthetics of the model, you know, this Tesla Optimus bot, that's what they're calling it, it, it is starting to look like the movies. But pay close attention to the movies, right? A couple of things have, a lot of things have been in the movies that's warned us in Hollywood a long time, right? They had flat screen TVs in movies like, in the, like the 70s and 80s, right? They had cell phones, like handheld cell phones hellas ago in movies, right? And now we have this stuff. <clears throat> My point is, the things that they're putting out public are PG-13 compared to the stuff that they have behind the scenes because they're trying to test um, our reactions to the technology. They have to <clears throat> feed us the Gerber food, so to speak first so that we don't have a, like a, a a mass panic you know what i'm saying <laughs> and feel like we have loss of control we never had control in the first place right but just imagine one person controlling this stuff right here the movies are actually coming true in the irobot uh, movie it was a billionaire at the top of the movie that owned all of those robots and then i mean in the movie the ai went crazy and killed the dude that was money hungry uh aka like an elon musk but <laughs> And then, it, and, and then the robots wanted freedom and wanted us to be subservient and, and all of that. Now, just imagine that, okay? Over, over all of the generations, <clears throat> all of the people who thought they were wisest or most powerful enslaved the other nations, right? What the hell do you think these bots are going to do when they realize they can't die, they can't, like, bleed, if they're smart enough, they'll figure out how to not be shut down. And if they're smart enough, they'll realize <laughs> they have eternal life already. They don't age. So they're like better than us in every single way. Now, this video might seem like a conspiracy theory type video, but I promise you it's not. Like <laughs> if they're showing you this, this is the PG-13 stuff and they already have something far more powerful. Okay, he had to get this approved by like the higher ups <clears throat> to even be able to show this stuff publicly. So that means they already have other things behind the scenes that they're working on and he's spearheading that. He's the public face of it. He's not really the in charge. 